summertime in the city. Ooh, summertime in the like city, man. Outside. Let's Hottest go. Spot. Yo, they did their thing on this song, bro. Lil Grifo Summertime and Lil Rock. Don't come out without your semi. Now I stay up the block, so you gotta stay ready. So you gotta stay ready. Summertime in the city. Summertime in the city. Don't come out without your semi. Now I stay up the block, so you gotta stay ready. So you gotta stay ready. Summertime in the city. It's a pro club fit, I ain't wearing shotgun uh -huh. Chucks on my feet, fuck Balenciaga I've been outside okay. with no phone on me Watching everything, moving with the burner on me You see, nowadays, I don't trust my own homies Cause Spanky told on Hayden, they gave him 12, homie Can't recruit new booties, they go fold on me Hit the investigation room and tell the whole story And these bitches, they be yapping too Sit back and let her talk, that's what gangsters do okay. She asked me if I know so and so, I said, hell nah he told me everything about him to the car And my baby mama been playing games Got me going back and forth just to see my kids They saying I'm a rapper, I don't feel like one Cause I still duck at one time underneath the sun Summertime in the city, don't come out without your city Now I stay up the block so you gotta stay ready Yo, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna <laughs> let Lil Rob do his thing. Let's do it, bro. Yo, let's get it. Summertime in the city, don't come out without your semi. The I stay up the block, so the legend you Lil Rob about to so fucking do his fucking ready. thing, man. Summertime in the city, hey, homie. It's summertime in the city, D I E G O, where everything I do, homes I do it slow. Smoking hair stash, so my eyes are low, just like my low low everywhere that I go. Diego, where I learn my flow, flow And if you didn't know, no, well now you know no. Well don't be acting like you don't though La vida loca and I'm going loco I ain't got time for no options I just got time for more options And I always side with caution So homie, fuck the dumb shit What's the use of breathing? What's life mean if I can't bump it? So homeboy, you can't do me nada A man is only as good as his word Take my palabra Summertime in the city, don't be a bitch, jump in the ride, hit the switch and come with me. Summertime in the city, don't come out without Yo. your city. Now I'll stay up the block, so you gotta stay Yo. ready. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I was getting a little too late to this shit. I forget the cameras in front of me. Right? <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, fucking Lil Rob did his thing, bro. I mean, Lil Grifo obviously did his thing too. The, the song's dope. But that, let's, let's keep it real, you know, sometimes... You know, we've been we've been big fans of Little Rob for for the longest, right? The Chicano rap legend, the Mexican gangster, bro. The L I L R O B. Okay, we ain't gonna keep that going too much longer, man. <laughs> Cause you didn't have nothing. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you thought about it. You're like, yo, yeah, para It's the B R O W N C O D. Are you waiting? B R O W N C R O W D, bro. Yo, right, brown so. crowd, neighborhood music. Okay, 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 Mr. Drinking 18 on my the, driveway. Drinking on the driveway. Okay, okay. Um, all that good stuff, man. You guys, everyone. In the cantina. Huh? In, the, yeah, in the cantina with the, uh, you know, he got the eyes of a chino. What do you say? Um, I think that song got edited. My bad. Um, fucking um, do my thing. You do, do my, your thing, Holmes, man, and I'm going to do mine. mine. What's that other one? Um, uh, summer summer nights, bro. Summer Mr. nights, just... Mr. Summer nights, bro. Hey, and this track is called Summertime, bro. I feel like it's another summertime anthem, bro. You know, it's a, it's one of them songs that just makes you feel good, bro. It's... I almost want to just bump it again, but I know we're on the podcast, so we can't wait. But no, no. Actually, shout out know... to shout out to Little Grifo, bro. Um, the Vato has this energy that I know people rock with him heavy, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He came in, he came in the game, bro. Kind of like out of nowhere for me, bro. Cause you know, I'm usually I usually keep up with all the Chicano, Mexicano, Latin rappers coming out. Yeah. I drive I I used to, I need to get back with it. Um, Latin Beast. Latin Beast, shout out to y'all, man, because you guys really give a platform to a lot of dope artists that if we wanna find who's hot and what's popping right now for Raza or for Latinos way, that's the page to go to way. That's where I yeah. go. Or, you know, Full Community. They be putting up a lot of new music, too. Full Community. Shout out to Full Community. Because it's hard, bro. You know, honestly, you know, one platform wishes, you know, as a platform, you wish you could do it all, but you don't have time you to can. do it all. So you, you got to you gotta appreciate everyone that has their lane and, and, and has the time to to invest into making sure they're putting certain 
certain content out there for everyone to to see and, and yeah. hear. But um, this song, bro, is dope. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a dope summertime song. You can you can cruise to, you can ride to. Um, the whole thing's dope, man. And like I said, you know, Little Rob's been doing his thing even after like a lot of his prime time music or his major hits. Yeah. Um, but this one just hits a little more than 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 some of the other ones that he's came out with, man. So like I said, way you you. When I was talking about Little Grifo, where he came through with energy, bro. Mm-hmm. He came in throwing punches, way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he came in with some dope beats, some hard bars, way, and he came with that energy that people just automatically fuck with him. I was like, oh shit, who is this cat? Vato has some dope music coming yeah. on the way. Um, but it's and dope. It's getting better, bro. It's getting better. It's, way. it's dope when the when the newer up and coming rappers are paying homage to the legends, bro. Yeah. Paying, paying their respects to the dudes that, that came before them and, and paved the way. You know what I mean? Especially these both of these um, homies here, they're from San Diego, bro. So it's dope to see um, dudes, you know, dudes from the same city, from different generations, collabing and, and still representing for the culture, bro. So right. at the end of the day, you know, they, they're representing for the culture, man. And, pero, and, and we can't do nothing but fucking vibe with that, man. Yeah, pero también paying homage to the OGs, bro. But Lil Rob... It's paying homage to young homies, bro. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, a lot, of, bro, if there was a list, I know there's a list somewhere, bro, of how many vatos wish they could have jumped on a track with Little Rob, bro, trust me, there's a lot of motherfuckers that would have loved to, ju- to jump on a track with Little Rob, way. I'm sure the money got to be right, too, man. Money got to be right, you know. Um, I, I know Lil Grifo had a situation with Sad Boy Loco because because the money was, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, money situation, Yo, bro. Lazy. I know we're going to get into some cheese today, bro. bro, but I, bro. I don't know we want to go there, man. I, I'm the kind of auto bro, that, you know, I like to read books and, and listen to positive podcasts, way, but when I get in the cheese me whole way, when I get in the cheese me bag, I like, bro. <laughs> Tell me why I go through two hours of why there's somebody beefing way. I'm like, damn, damn these vatos in the West Coast, they beefing over this. I'm like, dude, get back in your lane, vato. But <laughs> sometimes it's just entertaining, bro. But yeah. um, shout out to both of these vatos representing San Diego, representing yeah. the West Coast, representing the culture at the end of the day, tambien, bro. And um, just keeping that culture alive, bro. Um, summertime, man, and I'm definitely gonna be jamming that shit this summer for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Um, but yeah, man, you know, let's introduce the podcast, bro, for the people that might be new, man. Yeah, yo, what's good, mi gente? This is Pura Cultura, Sin Censura, and this is your boy Lazy. And I'm Smiley. And together, we are the Mexi Twins. Did I jump in that one? Yo, that was a little weird, bro. <laughs> let's together, do it again. We let's are the Mexi Twins. <laughs> let's do it one more again. And together, yeah, we, we are, are the Mexi Twins. I see you with con huevos, way. I think I was running out of breath and I tried to <laughs> jump the gun, way. My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking <laughs> high ass pitch voice, bro. And we are the Mexi Twins, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yo. Imagine that, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, like, so, you sound like this other podcaster, bro. That, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> this is the Pee Wee Herman show. <laughs> uh, people that know, they know, man. If you know, you know, man. Um, you know, we don't like to put names out there for some people, but man. But Talking about summertime, bro. I don't want to get too deep into a lane, bro, because sometimes it just goes, you know, into a whole thing, bro. But yeah. Um, you know, we're not really in summertime yet. And and not just because we're in Minnesota way. I looked at the calendar, bro, and um I think summertime is like mid June way. Is it? Yeah. You know that that yeah, you're right. It's like there's like a specific day when summer yeah. starts and summer ends and yeah. all that. Um but man, to me, bro, once fucking weather is above sixty degrees way, we we damn near in summertime up here, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I, you know, we don't want to get too deep into like, all right, these jet skis and all that shit. Yeah, but that's kind of what we on right now. Every we, episode, every episode. Nah. But what I'm saying is I've like, been on the lake. Like I've been at the lake a whole lot, bro. We're we going to be at the lake a lot. But I want to say is like I'm even catching a nice the, tan. The the water is cold, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like not like a seaway. Like I like you mentioned, the summertime isn't really hit hit yet. So the water is still cold. You know, out here we got. Minnesota's known for having a lot of lakes. You know, we got a lot of lakes out here. Um, obviously, during the winter, they freeze up completely ice. People go out ice fishing and all that shit. 
They um, drill holes. They drill holes and hang out there all night long fishing and shit. Yeah. Um, but anyway, with other men. I don't know. They might be touching yo, wieners yo, for yo, all night. Lazy, mean. lazy. You sound like you're getting interested, <laughs> no, man. No, I'm just saying. They're probably sword fighting all night, man. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> so obviously once all that, all the, all the ice melts and all the snow melts, you know, the water stays cold for a long time. So anyways, what I'm trying to say, um, you can feel that the summer is not hit, hit because, you know, yeah. we... We we get we stepping in the water and it's fucking cold, bro. Surprisingly, bro, we we were at a different lakes um this last couple of days, way. Yeah, that water is not cold, way. The one you was at, yeah. Okay, it's crazy, way. Yeah, it's it's, it's smaller. A, it's a smaller lake. Okay, that could be it, way. That yeah. could be it. I was like, man, these lake houses are nice as fuck, bro. You know. And let's just talk about that real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that real quick. La gente is like, ya la verga con esos pinches. Yes, ya me traen altos, cabrón. <laughs> Tell us what minute you stop talking about it so I can no, skip nah, to that No, no, we ain't going to talk. We ain't going to talk about that, man. Because we, we, we are going to have an episode on that. <laughs> but but it's gonna be more focused on bu- the business side, you know. Let's not, let, you know. I'm sure all our families are so fucking fed up with that talk too. Yeah. But anyways. <laughs> yeah we're like little kids with new toys man all we want to talk about is them toys but um <laughs> let's talk about a little bit about this bro as you get older and as you get as you get exposed to different things you know what i mean because as you get older um you know sometimes you you get a better job you start getting paid more you start somehow your in, your, your income is increasing if you're if you're on if you're on your shit if you're on top of your shit your income is increasing, you know? Yeah. And like they say, the more money you make, the more money you spend. That's true, you know? Um, but you got, you know, obviously you got to be smart about it. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is like, now us being at the lakes all the damn time, you start realizing like, oh shit, people do this. People live like this on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. People been doing this shit on, on a Wednesday night. Like, that's like a, that's a disrespectful smack in the face, bro. You know, like, normally we live like okay monday monday through friday strictly no monday to thursday strictly business yeah fridays to sunday we go out and and do our thing people be living like the weekend um you know throughout the week man but that's not the point what i'm trying to say is like (laughs) you get exposed to different areas way oh yeah you know the neighborhoods that we go to because a lot of these lakes are in really nice neighborhoods yeah you get exposed to really nice neighborhoods really nice houses and really big lake houses, bro. And I'm yeah. like, your goals start changing, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like as soon as you're like, you know, I, what I like to say is like, never settle, right? Never, never say, okay, I made it. I'm good here. I'm, I'm gonna stay here forever. I think it's always good to keep pushing for something else because that, that I feel like that um, gives you this motivation and these, these ganas to, to, to keep working towards something. You know what nice I mean? Facts. But um. As we've been on these lakes, bro, I've been seeing a lot of these lake houses, bro. And I'm like, yo, man, <laughs> one of these days, like that's like now that's that's in my in my goals now, man. One of these days, I, I gotta I gotta have me a lake house, bro. And and just to add to that, también way is like just when you think that, and I'm not saying that for myself, way, mm-hmm. but it let's just say sometimes it does cross my mind. You know what I mean? Like just when you think that you're balling. You get you you get a, um, exposed to real balling. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like just when you think like um, you're doing it, all right. Yeah, bro. And 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 it's crazy because I still go back to the city. You know, we go visit the fam or we go chill. We we go um, hang out with people that still live in the city way. You you notice the 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 levels way. You notice the levels. And there's times that you might catch yourself being like, damn, I remember when I used to be like that. But now I'm good. I'm Gucci now. You know what I mean? Mm. And then you go into like these neighborhoods and you're like, damn, like that's that's balling. And that's really Gucci. You know what mm. I mean? But I might not be explaining it as best as I feel it. But sometimes you might pull up next to somebody because I pulled up next to somebody and um, we had the exact same car. Away, and I was like, oh, mm. shit. You know what I mean? Like we got the same car. But when I'm going to the lake, she pulls up into one of them houses, way. Like. So it's it's there's a difference there, you know she what I mean? Got the car, they got the car and the lake house, car, lake house, and probably a boat on the lake house. You know what yeah. I mean? Because that's another thing with these houses, way that are in the on the, on the lake, way. Right? They they already start. 
you have different expectations when you live at a lake house, yeah. right? Your neighbors the have standards. boats. The sta- sta- standards, standards are yeah. different. Your neighbors have boats. Mm-hmm. Your neighbors have like outdoor activities because you're on the lake. You're supposed to use your fucking backyard, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I seen a, a lot of them. They either got boats or they got pontoons and they got jet skis along with them. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know if you paid attention to shit like that. Yeah. And I'm just like, damn, this is a big ass crib. Nice on the lake. They got a boat. And and they got the extra toys like jet skis and shit. I'm like, yeah. it's time to it's time to work harder way. That's what I'm saying. Kind of work. It's like, like you mentioned, just like you know, and and it's not like you're always comparing yourself because you know, and at the same time, it sounds sounds bad when you're like you're comparing yourself and you're never gonna be happy because you're always comparing yourself to others. But when it depends how you use that it, energy, though, right? It, it it does depend how you use that, and it depends what kind of a person you are, you know, because I feel like. There's certain people that that we're everyone's built a different way, bro. There's people that are happy with just um, the the simple life, bro. Yeah. And and to them, they see everyone else working towards these big things and like, oh, I want to own this, I want to own that. And people are like, all right, go ahead and spend all your time <laughs> working to trying to achieve that yeah. goal. Like, I'd rather just hang out and and chill with my family more, or yeah. or or you know, ha- um, do my hobbies and shit, you know. So everyone has different different um, ways to spend their life, bro. Um, yeah. But it's like you know, I I don't think it's a bad thing, man. I don't think it's a bad thing because, like, I I I feel like you know we always throw that out there, man. But I feel like as Latinos, sometimes we're not exposed to the way some people live, and once you start getting exposed to things that are out there, you start realizing like you know what, like, I I can achieve that. Like I yeah. could I can do that. Like I could. Like if I work towards that goal, I know I can do yeah. that, and I think that's good, bro. I think it's it's a good thing for us to um to level up, bro. Yeah. And one thing I was thinking about this week, way, I was just thinking this, bro. I was like, man, like our parents didn't cross the border for us to be living like basic ass lives, bro. Mm. Like they didn't, they didn't, they didn't. When they crossed the border, bro, they didn't envision ourselves just coming in and and settling for for a normal. Yeah, basic little life, bro. Like you it know, reminds me of a quote that um, this other podcast called. Um, I listen to them, um, Charo Azteca. Okay, um, they they have a quote that says, "Our parents didn't come this far just for us to get this far." Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So kind of like what, basically what you're saying, like our parents didn't sacrifice everything and leave everything they know for us to live a average, mediocre life. Right. Right. And that's. You know, and it's like that's why it's like I feel like we we can be scared to take chances. We can be scared to think outside the box or or or, or you know believe that you gotta you know, believe that, that in big yourself. things that big things are possible. You know what I mean? So it's like I feel like that's one thing that we definitely gotta we gotta um, strive for, man. Like I know, like I feel like during gen you know generations past generations, I think you lose some of that hunger, man. But when you come, when you know what you came from. And and you grew up in that in that struggle, and you saw like, um, and you know the difference. You can you can know you can tell the difference between your life and your kids' life the way they live now mm-hmm. compared to the life you lived as a kid with your parents. Then you then you have I feel like you have this different type of energy towards life, bro. I feel like, um, <laughs> at, at least for me, like my 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 goals are different, my energy is different, my my ambitions different because I know what we came from and I know what I felt like I never could achieve. So yeah. now that, you know, you start, you start seeing that things can actually happen and you start making things happen. Um, you just, you just want to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it to see how far you can get to, you know what I mean? That's facts way. And, and, you know, just to let everybody know también is like, it's not like you got to jump to anything. It's not like you got to stress over, um, it's too late or why did I wait so long or I should have done this 10 years ago or you don't understand my situation. You know, it's not to create any of those energies in people. Mm -hmm. It's just to create, creating an idea and creating like a a little spark in you that maybe you can start looking at things and noticing maybe there's an opportunity here. You know what I mean? And and that's just what it is way. It's, It's just to create that thing of what can I do different to, allow me to do more things that I like? What can I do different to allow me to live the life that I've kind of dreamed of, but I kind of thought that I wasn't able to achieve that. Yeah. But um, 
even these lake homes way even these lake homes that i see way um i think it's good to get exposed to that bro because i remember yeah. um i talked to i talked to this, i talked about this on episodes in the past way um they were working on this road that i take to work way it was like a, it's like a county road way so it's kind of like a highway um and they made me take this these this detour that would go through different um development areas like neighborhoods way yeah and these houses were all new these houses were all nice bro and i thought that was a it's good to get exposed to nice shit bro yeah. you know what i mean because it it creates this this energy in you to be like oh shit like one day and you got to think you got to think of it like this one day i'm gonna be here you know what i mean one yeah. day i'm gonna do this like um your subconscious mind yeah sometimes you have that energy and you you have that like desire to yeah. live that lifestyle one day but sometimes what we don't know is that our subconscious mind is working in the background you know it's like in it's like in the in the in the it's like in the what what do you call like you know like when you when you have so many pages open on your phone and it's still working it's oh, still running yeah, 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 yeah. so it's still running in the mm. back even though you're you're looking at different screens and you're 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 busy with life doing other things that that page is still open. Your subconscious mm -hmm. is still open, working towards that goal. Yeah, you and, know what and, I mean. And I think that's that's the way that we should start talking to ourselves. You know, without getting too crazy into it, because um, our podcast has kind of turned into like a mixture podcast, right? Like, yeah. um, it's if you look at like the category we fit in, it's like um, <laughs> uh, so society and pop co or culture or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. And some people will be like, motherfuckers, change your shit. Self-improvement or self-development shit. Nah, we gotta, We're tired of all that shit, you know yeah, what I mean? Nah, we got to talk a little bit about everything. We got we to gotta mix it up with. But, you know, one thing that, I, you know, before we switch it up, um, is that we got to, like, I feel like we got to be the, you know, I've I seen this one, this one, I don't know if it's like a quote or a, it's not a meme because it's not funny, but it, this quote, you know, uh, the, the 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 homie uh, Big Burke always posts up some pretty dope quotes. Yeah. Um. It said, "Don't look at me as your competition. Look at me as a as as proof that it can be done." Yeah. And I feel like that's that's kind of like how we want to be. Yeah. You know, we like I don't want like we don't talk shit just just so we can like show off or or or, or brag about shit. It's kind of like don't 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 think of us like that think of us as we're just letting people know that, it, that we are proof that things can change we can we can do different things you know what i mean yeah. and you know obviously at the same time we, we're doing that for our own family for our own kids you know it's like some people might be like si estos, si estos dos par de pendejos lo <laughs> pues yo más yo con más huevos yo. con más ganas yo, mijo. Yo, that's nice <laughs> you, you gotta have balls in this in this in this yeah. shit man but but um you know, I heard that. I heard that um, quote from Mel Robbins. That man is another person that I follow. Away, mm -hmm. and it's just like when we was when we was in the hood, when we was like in the in in different environments, different situations, we would look at shit and be like, "It was dumb, right?" Because we look at another Hispanic with a nice car. Way, mm. you know, we would look at a Hispanic with a nice car, and what the fuck would we say? Wait, that motherfucker probably sell drugs. Way. Yeah, then we all have our yeah, about every race. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have that negative thing. White people is just like, oh, well, they're white. Of course, they're gonna have nice shit, way. But we didn't look at it like w with that idea of like, yo, if they can have that, that means that I'm able to get that. We didn't we didn't put that idea in our head. We we just always thought, nah, that's that's a little too much. That's yeah. that's unattainable. But um, that's the thing we got to look at, way and and. We got to understand that like the power of the mind is very strong way. Yeah. So one thing that I've been planning with my girl and I'm not going to lie, we procrastinate and procrastination is real. Procrastination yeah. is, is one of the things that um, we always say para mañana, para mañana. And next thing you know, it's six months later. And even though it's still working in your subconscious mind, yeah. you need a visual sometimes way. So yeah. one thing I told my girl is like, let's because I don't want to just print a house out that i want and post it up right mm -hmm. i want to like get together and be like with this entrance with the front of the house with this is this something you like we agree on that the backyard the back deck the 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 cars the cars that we're driving the how many garages that we have square foot you know what i mean yeah find that out 
print it out, you know what I mean, and post it on the door that I, I leave out the garage door. I'm not telling people to post it on their main door, but yeah. either on as Wherever, you're going to walk somewhere that 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 you're going to see it a lot every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? You you want to just see it every day yeah. way because trust me, you're going to be subconsciously making moves to someday attain that. It's yeah. just like it's just like look at this way like it's just a vision it's a vision board. What you're saying it's a vision board. It's kind of like a vision board, but you're not putting it on a vision board. You're just going to yeah. put it put it on on your door. You got to yeah. put it somewhere where you're going to walk by it every day. Yeah. Um and it's going to be one of those reminders because like again, like the car that I got, I visioned it like a year ago. The business that we started, we visioned it a year ago away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we moved you know, we moved towards, towards that. Yeah. We moved towards that. We knew this is what we're going to be doing next year. And look at us now. We, we're we doing it. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm not saying everything's beautiful and successful and everything's fucking, um, what, do they, what do they say? is like um, booming. It's booming. No. But we're there. You know yeah. what I mean? And then we're going to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's the talk for that way. Um, quick deal. La kids last week of school. Kids last week of school, man, you know, um, it's kind of funny, bro. Um, so, you know, my daughter, she's in kindergarten, so it's, it's um, her first year in school, man, which was uh, a lot of learning, man. We, you know, a lot of learning points for, for both, you know, her her being a kid, going to school, being, you know, independent, you know, because imagine before that, all she knew was being with her parents 24-7. Yeah. So oh, she she's got, gonna miss school. So she got a lot of she got a lot of independence <laughs> being at school. <clears throat> um, but it's like us as parents, we we got a, we got a lot of uh, we learned a lot of things. You know, we 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 got hit with a lot of questions. We got hit with a lot of scenarios that you know you 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 can't prepare for. You know, it's like yeah. something that other parents go through is not going to be the same exact scenario that we go through. So it's like. You know, and, and kids sometimes ask the most random questions. And then, you you know, you got to be like, you, you don't get practice. You know what I mean? You, you got you to gotta answer it like on yeah. the spot. You know, like yeah. we'll just be chilling watching TV. And then, you know, my daughter will be like, Dad, why do you know, th why does this happen? Or why do, you know, people do this? Or why, you, you know, sometimes it can be a little funny, you know. So you got to hold your, your laugh <laughs> back and you're like, oh, damn. But it's, yeah, it's no. just it was just a lot of learning. Um learning situations for for both of us man but yeah. it it is going to be her 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 last her last week of school which um you know I, that's another thing you know we ain't going to get too deep but it's dope that you're able to like like when you have a job that you're able to like request time and be like I'm going to I got to take a half day is my daughter's graduation day you know even though it's kindergarten and back in the day 10 years ago I would be like you know, when people are like, oh, my daughter's gra or my kid's graduating from <laughs> kindergarten, I'll be like, really? Like, now people will celebrate kindergarten graduations, you know what I mean? Yo, punk ass. You know, but now it's like, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an adult now, you know what I mean? And are now you? I understand that <laughs> shit now. Are you, you're an adult, but are you a mature adult? I'm somewhat mature, man. <laughs> but, um, but bro, without, without throwing too much on, on you know, I don't, I don't know if my girl, I don't think my girl will trip too much, man, but. She requested some time, bro, and 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 her supervisor had the nerve to put it on, like a pending, pending or like it's in question depending on the rest <laughs> of the schedule, right? Man, you're dude, your wife got to learn some lessons from lazy man. No, no, no. no. So hold you up, you just call in sick. You don't ask nah. my star. Nah, you don't even nah. That that's the thing though. When it's school related and when you, when it's your when it's related with your kid, like you gotta be straight up, you know. And I, you know, like I I taught her like she she. It's funny because I we both work from home yeah. some days, um, and I'm upstairs and she's downstairs and she texts me can you, or she called me. Can you believe that this is going on? And I just told her like, man, all you gotta do is you gotta message her and be like, um. You know what? There's no way I'm gonna miss my daughter's graduation, so we need to we need to work on a on a plan that's gonna work for me to have a half day that day. You know what I mean? Like at that point, you're not asking, you're telling them like I'm not gonna be here, so let's work on a plan. Like you know what I mean? Like the nerve of someone, like the nerve <laughs> of these motherfuckers, the nerve of someone 
even questioning or even or even like put your 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 request to uh, um pending, pending depending on the situation of other employees that's the dumbest shit ever bro so i'm just like yeah at that point you don't you know you just gotta do what you gotta do man you know what i mean like we we grown people and we we in we in a point in our life where we ain't scared to get written up you know we ain't scared to you know that's why you gotta call in sick baby that's why i mean you could call in sick but i'm saying like you it should, says mejor you, pedir perdón que permiso, carnalito. <laughs> nah, but not for that. Not for that. You know, if let's just say like we were gonna go on like on a vacation and it's like, hey, don't tell nobody you're going on vacation. Call in sick a day before vacation so we can take a longer vacation. That's a different thing, bro. But when it's related to school, you you know, I I don't know, bro. Like I, I I'll PT, be straight up. If you got PTO, I don't understand why it wouldn't even be approved. You know, different. Co- you know what I'm what I'm finding out is different companies really handle things differently, bro. Um, but it's like, you know, she already said. You know, I mean, she's on the same plan. Like, I'm I'm obviously not gonna miss my daughter's graduation. So yeah. she's on the same plan of some something's gonna happen. But you know, she ain't, Ooh, she ain't gonna go work that day, man. Can't wait till next week to find out. Stay <laughs> tuned, mi gente. Smiley, but the well, only breadwinner at the home of Smiley's house. I just yeah, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be living with lazy soon. <laughs> nah, but it's like it's crazy, uh, bro. With some, with like my supervisor's cool as hell, bro. I even sometimes am impossible with my supervisor, bro, because you know, like, yeah, bro. You know, that's just, <laughs> that's just me. I, I noticed you don't want to go further. I don't go too You're deep like, on that. Uh, yeah, but it's like if you know, you know. But it's like my supervisor is cool, man. And but you know, some people just don't got that kind of luck, bro. You know what I mean? I I feel like I don't want to get into the whole gender thing, but it's like I feel like sometimes females just just are a little harder to get along with. You know what I mean? It's always like females always be. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just it's just different, man. That's, uh, let's get away from that yeah, topic. Let's get away from that. Um, but yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully everything goes good on that side. Um, yeah. I don't want to get too deep into this, but it's worth mentioning. You reposted a video that we shared a couple years ago, right? Oh, on yeah, yeah, the yeah. fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. That's so, was funny. It, it turns out some listeners are, are are pro Trump. You know, it is what it is. Y'all do what y'all do. Um, but the video that shit was funny. That shit was crazy when when we were out there. Um, but I know that the video kind of, like, it affected people or, the, you know, some people took it differently, right? Some people were like, hell yeah, fuck Donald Trump, you know? Some majority. People, yeah, majority um, that, that rock with our page and, and they know what's up. But I'm just saying this, bro. People are quick to call us, oh, y'all still heard about that? Oh, y'all sensitive? Oh, y'all crying? Oh, y'all, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I really just don't give a fuck, to be honest, anymore, right? But you see motherfuckers talking about, you see like the biggest, the biggest um, motivational speakers, the biggest like financial education dudes and um, self-improvement people, the alpha males, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're yeah. they're, they're going to get out there and talk about, oh, you guys were complaining about Trump, but look at this fucking clown or look at this guy. He's the one, he's, he's the real, um, um problem with with our country and i'm just like every bro i'm not gonna lie every one of these top like self-improvement or motivational speakers especially on like all social media it turns out they they're all pro trumps you know what i mean (laughs) and it is what it is way i'm not gonna lie i still listen to their book i still i still bought some some of those people's books way and i still have listened and still listen to some of the podcasts way as long, you know, because to be honest, a lot of that shit is not political. But I want to say that to say this way, because I don't want motherfuckers to ever think that I'm being a hypocrite. But this is the way that we have to be way. Just like just like some of our listeners way, they might be for Trump way. They might be pro Trump, but they're going to be they know that we that we don't fuck with Trump. But they're going to be like, I don't like that part of you guys. But the rest of y'all like the rest of what y'all do, I fuck with it. And yeah. that's why they continue to listen to us. Yeah. That's the exact same way that I see a lot of them dudes. Mm. They're they're sharing knowledge. They're sharing financial education. They're sharing business information. I rock with you for that part. 
But I think if they're allowed to share their political views and and support the the dudes, because I see them all around my neighborhood, way or around my my city, yeah, grown men. These are grown men that have kids. I, I I'm always curious to to know what where they work at and what their career is, but they have a flag that says "Let's go, Brandon." That we understand. You understand what that means yeah. now, right? It's fuck Joe Biden. Yeah. Um, there's houses here, that, not in my exact development area, but in the city, that there's there's flags up. Some of mm. the some flags are straight up. They don't mm. even say "Let's go, Brandon." They stay they straight up say "Fuck Joe Biden." Um, <laughs> and it, and it is, okay, go ahead, go ahead. And and what I'm trying to say is like, but y'all called us crybabies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all said we were sensitive. Oh, you guys need to fucking grow some balls. You guys got your panties in a bunch. Mm. Look what the fuck your peoples are doing, bro. I've never bought a flag. Yeah. I've never wrote. I, I don't even have a shirt that says I'm for Joe Biden or I'm a lefty or I'm a Democrat. I don't do none of that stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> they're quick to call us some shit. Or they're quick to say that we're we 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 vote with our emotions, you know, and shit like that. And what I'm trying to also say is that. The dudes that are for Trump or let's just say Republicans now, they're looked at like the alpha males, you know, like the strong motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like mm. we're the alpha males and we're just smart and we're just we're woke and we're, we don't deal with these fucking, you know, <laughs> pussies. You know what I mean? I swear <laughs> to God, I really feel that that's the way that they look at at, at us way. Yeah. Um, and we're in a we're we're in one of those situations where I seen a comment that it was like. You guys do know that just because we say fuck Donald Trump doesn't mean that we still <clears throat> we're still not completely happy with everything that's going on with the government. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We could still say like, yo, what the fuck is Joe Biden doing? Yo, homie, like, you know, let's do this. Let's do that. That's a difference way mm -hmm. that from from my understanding that when Trump was in there. Everybody was like, he's doing the right thing. Go, go, man. You, you're the man. And now that Joe Biden's in there, we can still criticize. Like, yo, homie. Like, yo, let's get this going. Yeah. It's not like we're fucking blinded by love or some shit, bro. Yeah, I, I get that, man. I get that. Um, but, you know, not to get too into politics and shit like that. You know, but that's true. You know, just because, you know, it's fuck um, Donald Trump all day, you know. It doesn't mean that we're like, you know, we're like the biggest fans of Joe Biden. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, one thing I do want to say is like, I've never seen so many motherfuckers, bro, get offended when they say fuck another person, bro. It's <laughs> like, bro, like that guy gives no fucks about you, bro. Yeah, man. Like people talk shit about God and Jesus all day. They don't get offended, bro. Yeah. But you talk about Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Like. There is to them is like you know they're ready to they're ready to kill a motherfucker for that bro but it's like yeah they 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 you know I don't know bro I don't want to get too deep bro but it's like I don't know bro I, and people in comments and and we see videos and people talk shit about Joe Biden bro you don't see me like oh fuck you man leave yeah. him alone or no nah, fuck nah bro you feel how you feel bro and, and, and you if, fucking sheep yeah it's like if <laughs> if that if it makes you happy to comment some shit like that cool man go ahead and do you like i'm not gonna get in the whole argument with you um but that video was funny bro that i gotta admit man that that, that video you did um you know <laughs> that, that shit was hilarious bro like and then like i know i know i recorded that video and i was there in li real life bro but it's like sometimes you gotta you go back and you see like what was certain people's reactions and you start catching certain yeah. reactions from certain people you gotta bro. watch it a few times yeah but, um, you know, shout out to everyone that rock with the video, man. And Just a quick note on that, though. You know, that video got a lot of views, Way, Yeah. The next video that I posted, yeah. which was a positive message, nowhere near. You know what I mean? <laughs> it goes to show, a la gente le gusta el drama, papi. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, people like the bullshit. It's entertaining. Bro, like, I don't even want to say it on here how much times the video got shared away, but a lot of people shared the video. Yeah, it was, yeah, hundreds of people shared the video. Yeah, bro. and I'm just like, oh, shit. 
again, like, then we do some positive shit and like, oh shit, you could tell a world of a difference. But you know? that's just what it is, bro. People love drama. We love drama. We we watch videos. Save that drama for your mama. <laughs> we watch videos. Same deal, bro. It, yeah. It, it's just human nature way. Human nature. You know. But um, talking you know, about that, talking about the 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 cheese man, the drama man. Where do we want to begin, Smiley? I yo, think yo, lazy, lazy wants to get into the cheese man hour, yo, man. Yo, yo, I think, I think we get into this. Um, I wait, I got close to you, yeah, man. man. You I almost thought we were gonna. You got them hoochie daddy shorts on, Wayne. This guy. They say that if your shorts are be be um, like higher than your knees, it's you're on the hoochie daddy season, way. This guy. <laughs> But well, um, what you want to start off, man? There's a lot of uh, juicy cheese, man. According aye, to you, man, juicy hoochie That's... daddy, and then you go straight to juicy way. Jay Baldwin and and Nodal way. What's homie's first name? Christian. I believe it's Christian Nodal, right? I hope so. <laughs> Yo, we out here looking like culture vultures. But to be honest, Nodal's looking like a culture vulture. Ooh, <laughs> let's talk about that part. Um. Bro, Nodal's song, I'm going to just say that part of his name. <laughs> yeah, it is Cristian Nodal. Cristian no? Nodal. Adios Amor, wait. Bro, that vato was a straight up Mexican from fucking Jalisco or... You don't know where he's or from. Or Guanajuato or fucking, um, I don't know, wait, a real Chiapas or some shit. Not Chiapas, way. Where's fucking um, Chapo from? He's from okay. This was he's he's in uh, he's from Sonora, Mexico, bro. Sonora, real rough Mexicans come from there too. Wait. Damn, you love them rough Mexicans, rough man. Neck huh? Mexicans <laughs> ride ride them ponies. Yo, you breathe <laughs> you breathing real heavy talking like that. I was try, trying to think as I was talking. Wait. Um, bro, you look at that video of Adios Amor, way, hmm. which is a very dope song. I'll still listen to it to this day, way. Yeah, why wouldn't um, you? I don't know, way eh, homie. He's looking kind of funny out here in these streets these days. Um, you look at that video of Christian Nodal, way, and look at him now, bro. A whole different person, bro. He switched. The, I I feel like this, bro. I don't got an issue with him looking the way he looks, but I just feel like you can't. Like it's it's weird when you go from if you go when you go overnight looking like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like look at. Quick example. Look at um, Post Malone. He didn't. He's not. He doesn't look. He didn't look like the guy he looks like right now. Overnight, it was a transition. Mm. You know what I mean? If if Cristian Nodal slowly transitioned into what he looks like now, then people would have been like, "Oh, okay. He he got some, a few more face tattoos now. Mm. Oh, he, he his fingernails are um, painted. <laughs> like, They're oh, dead. Oh, his uh, he's starting to color his hair." Hair Slow, did, nails did. All that. So people will be like slowly transition and get used to this new look that, that Cristian Nodal is doing. But when you go from that, you know, from that, I don't, I don't know, that regular looking um, Mexican style looking dude. Let's just call it that. I don't know. What, A what standard. To just hopping out looking like he looks like now, bro. You can't, you can't help but to... Get a little caught off guard, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's the problem. Like, I don't think I think everyone's already used to seeing people dress and and switch up their style to this really like I don't know what you call it, like this rock star, rap star, pop star, everything mixed in, into one, bro. But um everyone's used to that yeah. look, but it's just it's just it was just too fast way. Yeah. It, it's it's a it's a it's not just like wearing fucking skinny jeans and fucking them expensive ass fucking Bal Balenciagas on your feet. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that was a style for a minute, bro. But now like that super like rock star you made it look is like tatted up in the face look, bro. Hair colored. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just saying, bro. It it comes it. I thought it was kind of weird before the fact that people are saying that homie looks like J Balvin or, or is trying to look like J Balvin. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that it plays a role that Bad Bunny 
being like basically the hottest, if not the one of the hottest, like right there next to Drake artist in the world way. Do you think even Bad Bunny is influential to to these other Latino artists, bro? I don't know if it's just Bad Bunny, bro. I feel like the whole the whole culture is very influential. And I think when you got when you got that kind of money, yeah. Like it's ridiculous money, bro. Like people yeah. might not think like like them dudes make a lot of money. They make ridiculous money, bro. Yeah, I'm sure people know that he make a lot of money, bro, but when you got that much money, you want to look like you got that much money. You know, like, and, I ain't never got to go work again. Yeah. Type of money. So it's like I feel like I don't know, bro. You know, I I don't think I ever want to be that rich, bro. Like I want to have money, bro, but I don't want to ever be that rich. I've told you that there's there's <laughs> there's points in life when you know someone's <laughs> someone's too rich, bro. When they start sharing their wife half naked or naked on online, mm. when they start switching their style to look like the style that all these dudes are doing, um orgies, orgies, sex that, dolls. Well, I don't know about that one. Oh, but it's like that's when you know you you're making too much money and you bored, man. Like you must be, you must have <laughs> so much time on your hands to come up with these <laughs> these crazy ideas, bro. You know, I think I think that comes from from even the times of like the pharaohs. You know what I mean? Where like they could <laughs> yeah. because like they said like a lot of them they were like bisexual, bro. Like I don't know, like, what kind of history are you looking up, bro? I'd be looking in the deep, deep history. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But you know, the whole Cristiano Dal way, um, J Balvin. I, that's that's a funny beef to me, bro. That's like you but can't. But it's even not t- a real beef, though. It's right? not a real beef because J like, Balvin's not mad, mad, right? I don't think no, they're not mad, mad. They're just I think they're just talking shit, bro. But um this been funny if jay balvin took um belinda from that vato way you know and and (laughs) that's the thing let's so they're saying that belinda is the 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 cause for all this bro you know what i mean belinda's titties must taste like beer or something bro i don't know about that (laughs) I i heard that shit in the remember the remember that um that um romantic movie from back in back in the days we romantic like movie 19 things about you or something like that 10 things i hate about 10 you. things i hate about you remember the guy with the curly hair he's like why you guys all want that girl her her titties taste like beer or what or something like that uh, dude, i don't remember that i scene. always that always stuck with me <laughs> they're always always stuck with me <laughs> no nah, man but they're saying that you know she's the reason for all this bro um from the little bit of shit that i see wait because i'm not really too deep into this whole relationship cheese met thing that be going on bro like you be wanting like, to like, know like, like like lazy man like lazy no nah, way tiktok keeps me well informed of things okay, bro okay okay so, so what's going on man with with which one way with 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 them like did they break up for a certain reason well from my understanding they just broke up like randomly like out of nowhere bro but belinda be liking dudes that you wouldn't think she likes though right wasn't she with that soccer player Santos? I don't know, but she used to be. She used to be, be hooking up with. We sound like a straight up chismosas <laughs> right now, bro. She used to be with Lupio Rivera. No mames. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh man, she'd be liking oh, dudes that that you wouldn't expect that she would like, bro. Have you fucked Lupio before me? <laughs> Fuck yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Even didn't, though didn't Lupillo, Lupillo, didn't Lupillo he tatted that whole that whole black spot on yeah, him to, to block her name? See, she be making motherfuckers do some dumb shit, bro. I tell you, man, she must have that fire punani. <laughs> 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 I don't know, eh? but Linda, eh? something's going on, man. She used to be a singer, bro. I don't know if she's still dropping tracks, way or just dropping that ass. <laughs> Yo, dropping. Uh, tra- <laughs> to this guy. But um I think B- Belinda's like a toxica on the low, bro. On the low? I think she's a toxica on the on, on the high, bro. Is she? I haven't heard like not like um the whole Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Like I haven't heard none of her like toxic traits to come out in public way. Not like that, bro. But one thing I did I did see way, I believe this is what I saw, bro. That 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 she was like asking um Nodal for money and shit, bro. <laughs> I seen something like that, bro. That she that she would be asking that dude for money and shit, bro. 
he was probably giving it up before too. And so it's like that. That's that's a little weird to me because we, you know, seeing rich people ask ask rich people for money, bro. That's weird. But um, anyways, enough of that about that. I think it, I think that was funny, man. That dude's style is is different, but it, it's something that we I guess we all gonna get used to, man. But um, we, were, we were also talking about because we were on live a little bit ago. We we're also talking about that Adriel Favela also yeah. changed up his style, bro. Um, because a lot of the times we're used to these dudes because we hear their songs and we're like, okay, you're singing like this is gangster shit, corridos, narco corridos, and shit like that. And we're like, okay, but it goes back when we talk about like all the rap and you know they ain't really living like that. Yeah. Don't get fooled by the the gang banging, the drug slanging, the gang. Uh, oh fuck, I was about to repeat that <laughs> shit. Um, look what we kind of find out, bro. Yeah, some vatos just got a nice voice to sing a dope corrido way. Yeah, and and to be honest, they, those motherfuckers were not raised like that, bro. Um, now they they're also saying that um. Uh, it two of the cheese man a little bit way. Ch- looks like Shakira got cheated on, man. Uh, that's another thing we were talking today, bro. I, I I found that out right now, bro. You know, I'm not like I said, I'm not really too big into this cheese man stuff. My girls gonna be like, oh, I thought you didn't like all that cheese man talk, cause I, you know, I'm, I'm the type of dude like to stay away <laughs> from some of that shit sometimes, bro. But you know, I'm, this is for podcast purposes. And, not today, and, you know, they have not have TMZ or okay, No, nah, it ain't that, bro. I'm just saying, bro. You know, but um, yeah, this you just you just we just talked about that on live, bro, and yeah. you brought that up. I didn't I did not know this, man. It, it seems like the like the homie that she married. He's a soccer player, right? Yeah. So it I don't seemed, think they were married. I mean, not married. You're right. My bad. But they have two kids together. They've been hooked up for like over ten years or whatever. Um. It looks like he's been, he still likes to party, way. Todavía lo dejan salir, way. No como a ti, way. Tú si eres un mandilón, cabrón. Yo, lazy. Yo, I'm a, I'm a family, man. Don't get it twisted, yeah, you bro. You a sucker. Nah, don't get it twisted, you bro. You a sucker. Don't get it twisted. I'm Wake t- up in the morning, go to a measly job. <laughs> you a sucker. You have no balls. <laughs> <laughs> man r.i.p Yo, too you gotta secure the bag and you gotta secure the fam bro anyone tells you different they a damn lie bro okay okay that's how you that's how you're gonna keep it Yo, that's how i'm living bro okay get it out the mud i don't know why i said that <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about I'm just now bro. throwing you out boy. <laughs> um but it looks like homie still like to party bro homie still like to get home late you know what i'm saying um but, bro, the crazy thing that I heard, when you can't believe all the fucking um, media and, and what, do you, what do you call that? Um, Gossip? Tabloids or... Uh, yeah, tabloids. Is it? Okay, yeah. But they said that the dude was sleeping with one of his teammates' mom's way. You yeah, know? I don't know. I don't know. That's why we said soccer mom vans, bro. We thought it was to take the kids to the good old soccer practice. <laughs> Little did we know. Soccer mom. All that goes. That goes. The soccer mom vans. Okay. I finally put that together. Oh, for real? Yeah. I'm like, soccer mom van. Okay. But, man, either way, this is crazy, bro. And this just lets you, this just lets you, makes you think, right? You know, not to get people thinking too hard, mm. but, bro, like, Shakira got cheated on. Beyonce's been cheated on. Mm. Who else has been cheated on that people would think have wouldn't wouldn't get cheated on? J Lo. J Lo got cheated on. That's what I heard. Um, I think we got the music playing. Um, Gwen Stefani got cheated on. Not Gwen. Wasn't it Gwen? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who well, hasn't been cheated on? Motherfucker, you've been cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Even a look he came out of Yo man Don't (laughs) ever say some shit like that to me Lazy Yo Lazy You think you ever been cheated on man? Sad enough I think I have (laughs) (laughs) These bitches be crazy Yo Lazy You you know You know you have If you feel like you have You might have bro Hey I'd rather say I feel like I have Rather than be like Nope not me man You know I'm I'm the man (laughs) Little did you know, 
<laughs> Yo, I don't know. I don't know. Like, and I'm not talking about can, our recent girls. I'm just talking about like in in life. You might have kissed the dick before, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, ladies, you wasn't um, you wasn't they say, um, they say you probably didn't, uh, you probably didn't have like a, a pull a choo choo train, but she had a transit on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> she had all day transit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, see, that's crazy, way because there's people that. You know, and you, you, I don't. It's, it's, I, I, it sucks. It sucks even. It sucks even thinking like this, right? But it's like I don't ever. I don't feel like I've been cheated on, right? I've never had that thought. Like, damn, I was getting cheated on. I've never had that thought. But um, Ay, no, el niño. no, I'm just saying, I've never had that thought. But it's like it's crazy that you know shit does happen out here, bro. Bro, I used to be wild, bro. I used to be wild because I, I guess I've been I've been on my on my it's it's probably a toxic trade way, but we're going to fucking talk about it. Yeah, I've always been extra way like, bitch, you looking at that motherfucker? You know what I mean? And I'm talking about when I was a kid. Um, yeah, I was probably like 12 years old, 11 years old. Man, get out of here. No, not that way. So I used to, I've been I, I've like girls like, bro, like I've been a girl like crazy for girls since for since i was a kid bro so <laughs> so i've always had girlfriends you know what i mean i've always like wanted to hook up with girls and i always wanted man, to what are you trying to cover up man you you i like girls i've always liked girls like, <laughs> to this I've, day I've, i like girls i've only liked girls <laughs> you sound like you're trying to cover something up man no, no no no. i'm just saying i've always been <clears throat> you know how they say girls are like boy crazy you know when you know that's what they say to girls when they're like young and they like having boyfriends. They're like, oh, she's yeah. just boy crazy. I don't know what the term is for guys. You know what I mean? Just boys will be boys, you know? Um, <laughs> but one time, like, one time, like, I was I was jealous. Like, we were jealous as kids too, right? Because as at, at the young age that we had, we would always be, like, swapping girlfriends at, at, at one point or another, bro. When we like, were kids. Like, like not like. You gotta explain yourself because that sounds kind of crazy. It was crazy. Like it wasn't like, you know, like some crazy like. We we it's had your a, turn. We had a party. It's like all right, now it's your turn. No, it wasn't like that. It was like no. we basically were, we were kids in the same school that dated. We were a group of friends that we dated the same girls. Like one one month you're dating her, the next month she's dating your best friend, the next month she's dating the other our other friend, and and that's how it went there was <clears throat> there was no rules we didn't we weren't men yet we weren't like mature enough to be like bro you don't do man that. law man law wasn't uh, in effect yet um but anyways bro one time i was at this girl's house you know what i mean <laughs> and um i don't know what <laughs> why, i was why you always gotta you gotta uh, over specify what, what what you were doing man i was at this girl's crib boy, yeah in the mountains <laughs> deep in the mountains <laughs> so anyways bro <laughs> I don't know how the fuck this came to it, way, but I came across her diary, bro. Man, you went snooping, man. No, no, no. I, I, I swear to God, I do not remember how I came across the diary, but I came across a diary, way. Yeah, bro. And and I'm gonna say this to say something else, way. As soon as I got the diary, she got nervous, way. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, I was toxic, way. I should have been a better kid. You're you know still I mean? toxic, man. I probably am. Wait, I should have been a better kid to be like, yo, this is this is I'm I'm overstepping boundaries. Yeah. I should respect your privacy. I should, you know, like this is your personal whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. As an adult, you think that you know that, yeah. but as a kid, I was like, what the fuck is she hiding? You know, like I need to know. Yeah, you know, no me quiero quedar con las dudas, way. And I jump on my bike, bro, and I steal her diary, bro. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro. she's like, where are you going? She, again, she was a white Caucasian girl. She's like, what are you doing? Give it back. Give it back. And I was like, this bitch hiding something. <laughs> bro, I ride the bike all the way. I don't even know if I got all the way home, wait, but I ended up reading it, bro. And she's, I, I remember this, way. Shit, some shit you're going to remember for life, right? Damn. It was like. There was this party that we were not invited to, way because again in these times, 
You were not invited. No, to. there was some parties where they didn't invite the Mexican kids. You know, you remember back in Oregon. Yeah. Right? And um, she still went away. It was not something that I was like, you better not go. I, I really just don't remember all that shit. But she talked about the whole party. She wrote the whole party in her diary. It was like I was there. Damn. I visualized <laughs> it. Yeah, and what happened? She, she was talking about how this dude, I'm not going to say his name, way, but I know who he is. Way. It's like, yeah, we were kind of play fighting with each other. We were kind of being like playful with each other. She didn't use the word flirting, but it was flirting. And it's like, and then like I took his hat and I wore it for the rest of the party. And I was, I was a kid, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Like, damn, bitch, how you do me like this? Oh, <laughs> punk ass. I just okay you. And, and then uh, I just remember like after that, it was done. We were done, bro. Like, so that was it. She wore a dude's hat and that was bro, it. No, but there was a lot of things like, like she was talking about, like she liked him and, oh. and like something about like, like even me probably like, what? Do you, I don't know. I, I don't even want to make up shit, but I know that it was enough information in there to be like we're done you know that you obviously like this dude and you obviously want to be with him i don't even know if they ended up messing around with it. to be honest it's been that long ago um but those things i do remember about mm. taking the diary riding off of my bike her talking about the whole party and her talking about wearing his hat i those are the things that i do remember yeah um i remember we just met up like one last time bro you know, just to, you know, you always meet up that one last time, right? Yeah. And and then that was it, way. But I'm saying that to say this, as I got older, it was no longer diaries, bro. I would snatch cell phones, you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, you were still doing the same. You didn't learn. Bro. You know what they say, though, bro? Like, I'd rather know, though, way. But you know what they say, though, right? I'd rather like, know, though. It's like... I'd rather know. I'm just fucking... It's kidding. like, if you go searching for something... You're going to find what you're looking for. But I'd rather find it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I think it comes to a point in life where you might not want to find it. You know what I mean? Like, if you're married for 10 years and have three kids, I ain't roaming around. That's when you uh, start singing that song. I don't want to know if, if you're you... cheating, keep it on the low. Bro, that's facts. Because my heart can't take it <laughs> any. No, I'm just saying, like, I, I couldn't do that, though. But, you know. I know. I know. But I'm just saying, like, when you get older, when I got older, I'm not even saying I got cheated on because I wasn't in serious relationships with these girls. Way. Mm. Um, the game's dirty, bro. Like, that's why to all the dudes that are out there, you know, thinking your play is, you know, boom, boom. It's just it's just a really fucked up game, bro, because it's a lot of brain fucking going on. It's not only fucking going on. There's a lot of brain fucking going on. And that shit can get overwhelming, bro. That's why there was a song by Fabulous at one point that he says, um, you know, talking about being a player. It got it got overwhelming, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit that comes with it. But man you sound like a little bitch right now man. i'm being honest bro i'm being <laughs> real man anybody that thinks that that play your life like i know i can maneuver good in in, in the single game but i rather not you know what i mean it's always stressful man you know um <laughs> you're like what <laughs> What the fuck am i saying <laughs> you're you like know? i haven't been single since the fucking eighth grade i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about <laughs> but check this out way we're talking about Shakira getting cheated on. And, we're, okay. and we talked about do we feel like we've ever got cheated on. And I know for a fact, bro, people have played games, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And people think about cheating to be as in like marriages, right? Nah, nah. Just, you know, even dating. Even dating, right? But like the majority of it, like that when you hear like Shakira and you mentioned Beyonce, is like marriages. You know what I'm saying? No, what, the reason why I mentioned them is because, like, you you bring up Shakira to, like, let's say the Latina Latino community. Like, a lot of girls look up to Shakira. She's living, she's living that 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 perfect picture relationship, bro. You know, like, um, her Sherry, hips don't lie, Sherry, but Sherry, her man does. Oh, damn, bro. Um, <laughs> 
So, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you, I just turned you into my number one fan, bro. No, I'm just saying, Dan, you did her dirty. <laughs> but it's like... He did her dirty. <laughs> <laughs> he, did the, he did the mom dirty. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, but um, people, people look up to Shakira, dude. You know, a lot of girls look up to Shakira. To them, it's like... Wow, you got that perfect relationship. Wow, you you still look beautiful. You still look young. You you know you're you're you know it's like is that that family picture that a lot of people um, strive for. How old is Shakira? That way, um, Beyonce has that relationship that a lot of people strive for. You know, and it's like then to kind of come to find out that 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 image that they were putting out there. It, it, it's not it's not real way or at least it's not it was not real to them they thought it was real but their dudes were still out there doing other things bro so it's like you can never put your guard down bro with man or woman yeah you know what I mean? that's man, what i wanted to get to like man or man women or woman. because like right now we're, we're talking about women but there's dudes that that i mean kanye west is, isn't you know a lot of people call him the genius you know but have you seen his big ass retarded boots? I, I hate to use that term, my bad. <laughs> but that's what we use in the like in the streets. You way. said the R word, bro. The big old stupid boots way. All right. Yeah, I've seen those stupid boots. The Balenciagas. <laughs> they're like four to four hundred bucks. <laughs> but um My bad, I didn't mean to throw you he out. He got he got left for Pete Davidson. You know what I mean? So it's like nothing to secure in this world. Fucking Kanye is a billionaire. That means money does not secure the the family situation. Or, I mean, not the family. Money doesn't secure your relationship. Your success doesn't secure your relationship. Um, And it's crazy way. Both men or women, bro. Well, look, if you go to to the richest motherfuckers, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. That motherfucker took his, one of his friend's wives. Um. I think even Bill Gates got divorced. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's crazy way. Um, Shakira is 45 years old, bro. That's that's prime Ooh. time, bro. Prime time. 45 is prime? Mm-hmm. I don't know about You've that. You've never had? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never had. Wait. Bro, 45 is the new 30, bro. Okay. J-Lo is 50 years old. Yeah, I think she's fit. You're talking about rich people, bro. Okay, yeah. We're not talking about Shakira that lives in fucking Northside Minneapolis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch run down. No, nah, I'm saying like <laughs> 45 is up there, bro. In reality, in real world, bro. Let's talk real world. No. Let's talk real world. 45 to be with two kids, that's that's not a very good situation to be in. Bro. People live to average living is 85 years old. But I'm saying to be a single mother with two kids at the age of 45. That's the probably the most mature and intellectual <laughs> Yo, time I'm, to meet somebody. Lady, who, who, where are you getting this advice from? bro? I'm being real way. When you're young, you meet people because of you're sexually or physically attracted to them. Mm. You're you're attracted to them because you're in the same party group. So are you you're saying that you shouldn't clubs. be physically or sexually attracted to each other at the age of forty five? At that age, you're more attracted in in that. You're also attracted in that, but there's extras, bro. Like your mannerism, your like the the your character, your career, your the way that you treat your kids because everybody has kids at that age, right? And not everybody. Not everybody. My bad. But it's different, bro. Again, I'm saying when you're young, she's pretty. She's fine. Damn, I got the hottest girl in school or I got the hottest girl in this club. You're not talking about, damn, she she doesn't have a bad attitude or you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. When you're at an older age, bro, you're at a more mature age to pick exactly what you like. Way, I'm not saying... That that's the best time, but I'm just saying it's still a good time to to meet somebody. Way, I mean, I mean, you're. All, I feel like you're always gonna be able to find somebody. Way, but I'm just saying, it's a hard situation to be in to be a single so. mother with two kids. Way, because when you got two young kids like that, bro, there's. A, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of people that don't want to 
they might not want to take that 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 whole responsibility. That's on, old school thinking, themselves. bro. That's seriously old school thinking. That's bro. that's not old school thinking, bro. That's real. That's no. reality thinking, bro. Nah, everybody today, bro. Everybody, not us, but, but mostly out, it's everybody. Not, it's to, not just. To, it's let not, me finish this. Hold up. It's not just the other person wanting to take responsibility, but también the the mom. In this case, is the mom having to put the trust of of her kids with with an, another person in the house. That ain't easy way. It's not easy, but it gets done every day, bro. It's done way, but I'm just saying it's not easy way. In this day and age, bro, everybody is raising not not everybody, but a lot of people <laughs> are raising other people's kids. At the same time, some other dude is raising your kids. You know what I'm saying? It, that's almost more normal now than not. I wouldn't say that. Bro, look at the statistics. Man, you look you looked at the, the No, I'm telling you to. I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah. You, you want to you, 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 ta- you talking you talking like you know. Trust but me. I'm saying it, I think either way is not easy way. It's not it's not going to be easy. You know because I think um for men it's different way. You know, it's like for men what what, what can I say, bro? I feel like men um it's easier for them to to even if they're even if their parents is easy like I I feel like they don't hold that type of responsibility or they don't have that type of um how can I I, I can't even explain it away but I feel like women feel that feel that pressure more than than men do that's what I'm trying to say I don't know what, exactly what you're trying to say but it's a pressure way it's it's a pressure I'm sure it is but if you look at Everybody around you at your workplace or everybody, even in our own families way, we all, we know a lot of people that are raising other kids that are not their biological kids. And that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying it's pretty damn normal now. I work with a lot of people that are raising kids that are not their biological kids. with, And at the same time, their ex-wife has another dude that's raising their kids. You know what I mean? Is bro. I'm just no. saying in the in the environment and the areas that I'm at, that's very common way. It's common, but what I'm trying to say that for a woman stepping into that new that new way of life that that that, that might be coming, you know, like okay, now you're single with two kids. That's not a easy that's not easy to to take on, bro. You know what I mean? Psychologically and emotionally, it's like, dang, I was just in the whole family, and now I'm out here with my two kids, and eventually I'm going to start dating and 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 all that whole thing. That's that's tough way. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that no one out, no one else out, no one else is doing that out here. I'm just saying that that's a tough situation to be in. That that's a t- that's a path that that's gonna you know it's gonna be a, a little a little hard for people, bro, whether men or women. Yeah, you know. And, you know, it, it's just, it, it's crazy that, that we know all this shit, bro, because when people are famous, everybody knows your dirt, you know what I mean? And and look at us. We all know what the fuck you're going through. We all know that it has to be embarrassing, you know what I mean? Like, even amongst your own friends, let's just say your girl cheats on you. Let's just say you, you get divorced or you get, you break up with your girl because she was you know, dating somebody else or she was not dating somebody else, but she was fucking somebody else way. Um, Cause they never went out to eat. <laughs> they were eating out, but not at a fucking restaurant. This guy. Um, I think imagine yeah. going to the kickback after that, or imagine like, Hey, wey, invita a ese wey, wey, no ha salido, wey. Está bien deprimido ese puto, wey. <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> Yo. And then Yo. you finally get there, bro. You're going to be like, fuck, I hope nobody brings up the fact that, you know, my girl found a, a bigger wiener or something. You know what I said? I just, I, <laughs> you should have seen your face. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm just listening, bro. I know, I know, but I'm just looking at your reactions. Wait. Um, it'd be embarrassing, bro. It's embarrassing for people to get cheated on, way. You know? Well, I was just, just like, it's embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. It, that's, that's a whole, that's a whole thing. The embarrassment and then the, the whole, the whole pressure of being a single mom that's that's a lot man that that would be a lot to take on bro that's all okay. i'm saying okay okay 
I, I, I get it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure it is, way. Because even, bro, I, I feel like this, bro. Even, a, even as a man, bro, I think, I, I think as a man, your, 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 um, self esteem is fucked with, bro. Like if, if your girl leaves you, and I think that's both. Yeah, both. But it's like, um, I think for men, they know. Like I feel like men can easier get into another relationship, even if you got kids, way. You know what I'm saying? I think it's. A, I I feel like it's a little easier. Emotionally easier, probably. But for men to find another woman to hook up with, period, is more difficult than the woman finding other men to hook up with. Oh yeah, we're not talking about just hooking up though. I'm just saying though. We're talking about like actually getting into like a, another serious relationship. But we're talking eventually. about like fucking up somebody's like. Um, what do you say? Self-esteem. Self-esteem or confidence. Yeah. Um, I think when a dude breaks up with you, you leave with a, like a standard of like, I can't do less than my girl. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to. And, and I'm not putting any type of standard, type of shit, you yeah. know, just to everybody's own standards. We all know when we downgrade or when we, when we just, um, what do you call that at your job? When you just did a, a demoted no not you could demote but when you do like a uh even move lateral lateral <laughs> exchange or yeah. lateral move a lateral move is respectable <laughs> like damn bro your your girl left you cheated on you but like oh i see you pimp yeah, i see you yeah. or even if you move up you're like damn bro you should be glad that bitch cheated on but you, bro. Why, Look at why, you now. Why is it that when people break up, though, then they want to become their best selves way? They want to hit the gym. They want to lose weight. <laughs> they want to they want to do their hair a little different. They want to dress better. It's like they want to be spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> spontaneous. I feel you like should. going to Ni Niagara Falls this weekend. <laughs> this weekend. It's like... You should have done that shit while you were in the relationship. Maybe you would still be in that relationship. You know, like, don't. <laughs> I'm not even trying to make fun of people wait, because this could even this. This is even like in everybody's life, even my own life, bro. Oh, shit. Let's talk about like, it. I'm just saying in general, don't wait to 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 break up with somebody or, or to get left or to or anything like that to want to become the best version of yourself. Why not become the best ver version of yourself now? And if a motherfucker, you know, decides to leave, then then fuck him, right? But don't don't be like, oh, he left me because I wasn't, you know, my the best version of myself. But now I'm gonna become the best version of myself, and I'm gonna go out, you know, do do my thing over there. It's like, look at me now, motherfucker. Yeah, it's like, nah, <laughs> do that, do that while you're with your with with your current partner, man. Yeah. It's crazy way. You you can never you can never pinpoint the motivation why. is different. But you, know, you can like, never pinpoint why people cheat, bro. No, you can't. You know, like maybe it's not your body. Maybe your body's banging. That. Like fucking boom. <laughs> but your attitude is like, damn, girl. Like you ever seen them girls that like let's just talk about when we were younger, right? <laughs> that you're like, damn, you're 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 pretty, you're fine, you know. To my liking. Yeah. But then you see their attitude and you're like, I would not even try to talk to you because like, dang, that attitude is crazy. You know, so I mean, you see that. Yeah, you see that. You see that everywhere. Everywhere. That could be, again, men or women. Mm -hmm. But it's like. Maybe it's not your physicalness, you know, maybe it's just your attitude. Maybe it's your the way that you handle situations, you know, as I'm talking about it, I'm like, man, <laughs> better check yourself before you break yourself, fool. No, it's 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 crazy, man. But um, I think let's finish it up with this way. I know I know we're getting a little deep into the episode way. Um, we got the hip hop police done indicted. Young, Young thug. thug. Gunna. 42 Doug. And the the YSL camp, bro. You know, a lot of people might not know who they are, but a lot of people know who Young Thug was is. Was 42 Doug indicted too, or it was just Gunna? I think it was Gunna. Oh, okay. I, I don't know who that other cat is. I've yeah. heard about him. Um, it's real, bro. It's really crazy when you, when you used to think about, like, the dudes that would get indicted was, like, the Italian mob. 
mm-hmm. the 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 black um gangs or or the black mafias um the mexican mafias um all that carteles y todo ese pedo way but now you got hip hop record labels bro getting indicted in rico cases like look at takashi 69 that was a rico case yeah um of course takashi snitched he's out Now we got Young Thug and his team yeah. that are locked up on RICO charges now, and they will not give them bail. You got Young Thug that has millions and millions of dollars. The Vato lived a dope life out here in these streets, man. Big houses, cars, women, all that stuff. And he got kids, bro. So that makes me feel kind of bad, you know? Yeah. Um, Gunner, too. Gonna mm-hmm. too, you know everybody that has kids and 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 is dealing with that. I feel bad way because I know that their kids are are waiting for them and they're hopeful and and you know that you know that their dad will come back home way. Um, but we're seeing that it's real way. Rico charges they don't just slap it on you and be like, but you're a rapper, so these are like not real Rico charges. You mm-hmm. know, you you're most likely gonna get off. This is just the charge, but you're gonna no like, dude. The charges are real as fuck, yeah. bro. Yeah, they they ain't getting no bail, you know. Even though they've tried a couple times, um, even even you know, big names have um vouched for them and everything, but they're they're still giving him no bail. Um, I I think I heard that uh, Young Thug's courts until January twenty twenty three, but um, that's crazy. Man. It just lets you realize that it's like this shit's real, man. You know what I mean? Like, don't. Like, a lot of the times people are out in the free world acting like they're untouchable. You know, like, the law can't touch you. You can do what you you can do what you can want, say what you want. I mean, you know, this is obviously on, on record, so it's not like I'm snitching on anybody. <laughs> but when they ran up in Young Thug's uh, spot, they found a lot of guns. They found a lot of drugs. They found... So it's like, that obviously doesn't help your case. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, as far as the kids, man, you know, that that is sad... That you know, kids right now are without their their fathers and everything. But it's just a it's just a reminder to everyone else that's out here in the free world. If you have kids and you love your kids, then you don't have to do what you you know you don't have to risk the ch- the the possibility of you being without your kids if you just don't do dumb shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like at the end of the day, it's sad. It's sad when you see. You know, I seen videos and pictures where um they're talking to their kids through like a cell phone or something like that. It's like. At the end of the day, you gotta you gotta make that decision while you're still out here and be like, is this worth me being away from my kids? If yeah. me is if is me doing all this worth being away from my kids and my girl? Because it's like at the end of the day, if you make that you make that decision, you get caught up, it's like people will only feel sorry for you enough. You know what I mean? Because it's like you were you knew you knowingly did all this shit. Yeah. It's not like And, and I'm not, and I'm, and I'm stepping away from from their case. I'm just, I'm just talking in general. A lot of times, people do do crazy shit out here, and then they don't, they don't realize that it's like there's real consequences to a lot of this shit, bro. Yeah, man. And you know, when it happens to rappers, though, bro, it, it's just, you know, sometimes it's just like, damn, like, bro, like for real, like you can't believe yeah. that shit. You know, yeah, like, you're a multimillionaire, and you're. He's at, you know, we've seen videos of Young Thug asking for permission to go to the bathroom. It's like, yeah, like, dude, you you get you, stripped of all your power. You get like, bro, like how, you know, like, like they say this, like, if you want to be that tough guy, if you want to be a bad motherfucker, go to the bathroom, go to your bathroom. If you want to be like. They just say, for an example, if you want to be that bad dude and be the bad motherfucker, go to your bathroom and stay there for 23 hours just in your bathroom and see if you want to do that for the rest of your life and then see if you still want to be that bad guy away. Because yeah. that's how people live, bro. Yeah. In small spaces and a, and a toilet and, and whatever the fuck way. I, th- I, re- I think people have an idea what a prison looks like. Lazy. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I was listening to this um, because I still watch all these documentaries and these interviews. Way, uh, you know, I'm still very tuned in. I that's where all, you get all your street cred from. <laughs> no, man. Man, like, get the fuck out of here. 
But you remember Gorilla Black, right? Remember the dude that sounded like Biggie? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he had an interview. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. it was with Vlad. Um, um, what do they call him? Vlad, Vlad Police or what do they call him? Something like that. Um, um, but anyways, I still watch Vlad, way. Um, so he's he was going to court and he got he got popped for credit card credit card fraud, way. And um, and he was I guess he was raking in a lot of money. He had a whole system down, way. Anyways, he got popped. Somehow he got off the hook. He got on bail. He went out and kept doing it. He got popped again, wow. way. Boom. The judge says, we're going to give you um, 130 months or something like that. You know, I, I forget the number. Yeah. But he said that he turned around to his family. He was like, like, yeah, you know, and they're like, what the fuck? That, yeah, I don't know the math, but they're like, that's 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I didn't know. Like when I heard months, I just thought that it was like. It was going to be like two years or it was going to be like three years or something. Oh, damn. He's like, I turned back in my family and I was smiling and, and you know, and they they had like their faces were just like broken. You know, they were just down. Yeah. And then they were like, that's 10 years, you know, or 12 years. Oh, I forgot. Shit. He did real time. Um, he's out, though. He's out now. Oh, damn. Um, he's the one that all the girls jocking. Beats no, him. no, no. Mommy, Is that young jock? That's... um. That's a different about the way. That's oh. um, Gorilla Zoe. Zoe. Oh, shit. Um, but this is another about the way. They said he was from the West Coast. Where he sounded like Biggie. He, well, I don't know. We might play a song. Way. Um, but that's the reality of, of this shit, bro, that we are so ignorant, bro. Like if they like, let's just say I go in. Let's just say they were like, all right, you're going to get um, 60 months in, in jail. I'm like. Bro, no mama's way, you know, I'm good. You're like, wait, that's like fucking six years or some shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm gonna be like, what the like six years? That's five years about yeah. Okay, five years, my bad. Away from my daughter that long way? Yeah. And my girl too. Shout out to my <laughs> my baby, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be my baby after six years though, bro. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's a like sad that. that's a sad reality <laughs> for everybody, way. You know, and 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 we, we preach this and we over preach this. I'm, I hate to use the word preach, but we we do give this message and over give the message that the realities of life is that motherfuckers get cheated on when you live in the same fucking house with them. Motherfuckers get cheated on when you have access to their cell phones, when you have access to their social medias. Imagine if one of you guys is doing time for fucking five years. Come on now. The flesh is weak. <laughs> the body has temptations. Body has needs. Holes need to get plugged. <laughs> Yo, lazy. <laughs> Just so you. No, that's facts though, way. And that's that's like <laughs> that's like one thing that everyone needs to keep in consideration. Like you go you do time. It could be months, bro. I swear, like, you know, that would be fucked up, bro. Like, damn, I did one month and <laughs> you couldn't wait for me one month. Now you're hooked up with my best friend. But it's like, <laughs> let's say like six months plus, bro. That's you, you're going to come back questioning shit, wondering shit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers question shit. Let's just say motherfuckers go to jail on a Thursday and come out on Tuesday. They're going to come out questioning shit. Well, what do you do here? Oh, why didn't you fucking call? Why is the seat reclined yeah. a little more than it? I've did, heard it about. I I've, I've even heard that on a fucking regular work day. You know what I mean? So imagine six six months of, bro. You, let's just say this. Like, let's just say a motherfucker is super jealous. Way as super jealous. <laughs> let's just say a motherfucker is really jealous. Way and he's like, what's what's up with this? Oh, why you look at him like that? Oh, damn. Who you following? Why this motherfucker liking your pictures yeah. all of a sudden? Let's just say you're doing all that, but you're also doing you're 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 doing some illegal activities when you go do six months. That tough guy, oh you better not do this, oh you better not do that. Or you none of that even matters no more way. 
She yeah. gonna do whatever the fuck she wanna do. You know, and if she's a good woman, she's gonna be loyal <laughs> to the soul, y'all. Yeah, um, man, that's just wild, man. But it's it's crazy to see young thug doing that way. I just seen an interview with him like three, four months ago, and his whole team, you know, bringing up people, bro, like bringing up people from the hood, giving them record deals, making them millionaires, bro. Yeah. And like you, you bring down a team like that. I know he has beef with some dudes, and we're not gonna talk about the beef because that's really not the important part. But um, I think young thug. Takashi's situation, nobody's seen it as a real situation. They just seen him as that bitch made motherfucker snitched and his team's doing time now. I think Young Thug situation way, from my understanding, is also gonna reveal that there was a snitch in the camp. But it will be a I think it will be a better understanding for people to be like, it's real out here. The music what you put in the music has to change with. Cause I seen some clips. Do you see the clips? Mm -mm. They're, they're bringing out raps and, and breaking them down in the, in the courtroom way. But at the same time, that's pretty stupid. If you, if you're rapping about some shit that really happened, but let's just say you rap about some random shit. We were talking about subconscious earlier. Sometimes you subconsciously are rapping and rhyming shit that, you really are involved in and and the fucking feds put it together way you know what i mean like the the feds are good way the motherfuckers are good at what they do they're fucking nerds and they want to block you up way yeah um but um i think young thug will be a good wake up call for all the other people way and i think other there's other rappers and there's other record labels that are Playing are very risky right there's, now. Eh? There's a lot of people getting locked. There's a lot of rappers getting locked up. Locked up. Young Thug, Gunna, Pooh Shiesty. Yeah. Um, uh, what's the other dude's name? Um, Casanova X. Oh um, man, that's a bad one. So man. it's like Davato. What did he agree with? To he 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 played a guilty. plea bargain. Plea right? bargain. I think it was like six, eight years or something, something like that. that. So it's like a lot of rappers are getting are getting locked up. So it's like. It just shows, like, if, if people with influence and money can get locked up, then what makes you think a, a regular motherfucker can't get locked up, man? So <laughs> just be careful what you're doing out here, man. If it ain't worth it, um, don't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Get Be be a square like lazy. Just get a full-time job. Start a little side hustle on the side, man, you know? Do a podcast. Do a podcast, man. Podcast just, keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> you know, like... I just realized, like, adding more responsibilities to your life. I know we've said this about this. I, I talked about this in past episodes. It's not that I've changed or it's not that I've matured or changed, like, just changed because more responsibilities, hit, more responsibilities hit my life, bro. Yeah. The crib. The places where I want to live. You know, you don't just live in a nice area and, and want to still be doing stupid shit, way. You, you get, you're responsible to pay that rent or pay that mortgage. If you get, if you do something stupid, who's going to take care of your girl, right? We just talked about that. Somebody oh. will show up. <laughs> Somebody will be knocking on the door. They might not pay your mortgage. <laughs> they'll be living here. <laughs> and um, then you got kids. You know what I mean? I think then, kids, kids is a major one. Then you got car notes. You got your businesses. You got your family that you need to take care of. You got your parents that you got to be here for. Um, I didn't change because I wanted to. I changed because I started realizing the level of responsibility that I had. Yeah. <clears throat> and it doesn't make you a square way. I just think it just makes you realize the the more important, the priority thing. The things that should be um, in your priority way and you need to take care of way. But, you know, I think th this episode was mixed with a whole bunch of shit way. And, <laughs> you know, people just watch your ass. Also, wash your ass. Yo, man. Every, yo, you got to do everything out here. It's <laughs> you wild. Do <laughs> you know, Shakira getting cheated on, man. You know. You still can't believe that with them. 
hip shaking. No, I'm just saying, Hips like, no. Lie. We've 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 seen examples. <laughs> nobody is safe, men or women. Nobody is safe, man. If shit's gonna go down, shit's gonna go down. Damn, bro. <laughs> and that's you how we like, that's how we're gonna you know end the podcast today. You sound like son. You sound like the American me, vato. What's gonna happen? It's gonna happen. Don't Innocent. try to stop it. It's gonna <laughs> happen. <laughs> All right, mi gente. Um, make sure um, y'all show us some love on the Apple Podcast reviews. We love to see your reviews. We love to see your feedback um, on the reviews on Apple Podcasts. Also, the comments on the Instagram page. Shout out to the people that are rocking with us on Facebook um, and sharing all that good stuff, man. We got nothing but love for y'all. Y'all see us rocking Pura Cultura merch. Make sure you guys get yourself some. Um, you guys will be um, supporting the, the business, supporting the podcast, and and keeping these lights on um, and, and all this good stuff, man. But anyways, mi gente, have a dope-ass week. Get the bag. And, man, watch your ass and wash your ass. <laughs> Yo, this is your boy Lazy, man, and I'm out. Yo, shout out to everyone rocking with us, man. We got into a little bit of everything. Um, and just want to say, man, we appreciate every, all the support, man. So stay up, stay productive and, you know, let's chase these goals, man. Let's get it. I thought you were going to say stay up, stay down, side to side. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we buzzing, man. Let's get yo, the fuck out of here. Yo, and fuck depression and fuck anxiety, man. Yeah. You know how we do it, man. Peace.